penalty. Um, welcome to our 55 trillionth um, weekly Aegis conference. Uh, today we'll be going over group-wide news, divisional news, promotions, demotion, and, um, medal awards, and our wonderful developer conference questions. Um, do we have any group-wide news? We don't, surprisingly. How unfortunate. This is actually a really small conference today. Um, so moving straight on to medals, we have a total of three medals to award today. First one is for the award of mobility. So can Sick Mammal and Laugh underscore Ka come up to the front? Nope. All right, well, congrats to them. They've been in Aegis. No, that's the wrong medal. They've done a four hour duty state on mobile. Next, we have the award of Laborus Assidius. This is for uh, those who have achieved over four days of collective duty state time on the border. So, can Owls underscore Z come up to the front? Congratulations. <laughs> also a green school. Oh uh, yeah, congrats, congrats. Yeah, it's now one all. Let's go. Um Okay. Well, that, that's it for medals, but we're going back to the divisional news because Lazy Tom will added it very last minute. Um, we have a new DC. A new SDHD DC, apparently. Uh, and that is Kukayu underscore KK. Definitely butchered that, but... Oh yeah, congrats to them. Did I do two zeros by accident by any chance? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, moving on, we have Away Invites. Oh. Very, very exciting moment. Uh, so yeah, if I call your name, you may come up to the front. Uh, SXAL Apple and Marudus 007. If you are here, congrats, congrats. Yes, this is for AOA invites. Uh, you can DM Lordy or Dog Team for an invite. Hope to see you rank up to officer one day. Wouldn't that be nice? Next, we have Aegis Academy staff promotions. Well, promotion. So can Skeptis underscore KK come up to the front? Why is this to a ministered field agent? I assume they probably just passed stage 4 AOA, but congrats to them, they're being promoted to A to the F to the A! Uh, they have there's some cool quota in the uh, the Aegis Academy. And quite literally, that is the bulk of the conference. We're moving on to conference questions now. 4 minutes and 45 seconds. That has to be one of the shortest conferences ever. I swear last week or the week before was so juicy, but then there was hardly any conference questions.
Uh, but yeah, uh, channel will be open shortly. Have actual decent, cool questions instead of how are you? So that's just a bit stupid. The first question. <laughs> Not even using format. Ridiculous. This is once in a lifetime, so. Will there be a resolution for DDoS attacks every morning anytime soon? That's completely a Roblox issue. Um, so as soon as they decide to raise their, head, their heads out of the sand and actually assume responsibility for the problems they have with the server and infrastructure, then yeah, but until then, no. <laughs> um, is Aegis Artillery Division a natural thing being worked on? Um, yeah, Tommel are working towards um, getting that in working order. Um, I think Code is going to make a, a logo for the division soon, so officiality might be soon around the corner. Um, are we allowed to TK in self-defense? No, any sort of team killing is not allowed. Um, if somebody team kills you, you can use the player reports channel and provide the documented evidence, and an officer will uh, appropriately deal with them. But please don't proceed to kill somebody back just because they killed you. Um, that will probably lead to you also getting reported, in which case you would also be warned. Um, any EED news? Um, yeah, the resources update will be coming out soon. Um, that'll be one step closer to its release. Uh, obviously, not that much content aside from repair tasks at the moment that are in the game. So the resources update will allow them to craft stuff, um, supplies and stuff like that. And that will be the other half of AAD's tasks essentially and well obviously any wastelanders will also be able to use the uh, resources update to also craft um, various weapons, armor, tools, stuff like that or just sell the ore for money that will also be a feature. Um, is the do2r ever getting buffed? Never say never because randomly guns do get buffed and debuffed so when will the city open? <laughs> Um, 2017, 2079, I think it says, I don't know, somewhere around there. Are you aware there is a leak about your personal information online? Um, yeah, a lot of it's uh, old information though, so I'm not really too bothered about it. Uh, will there be, ever be a new do gun? Um, never say never. Maybe a burst do, a do 6 BR. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do 7XL or, you know, there could, there could be many, but not right now, but never say never. Um, will AAA pilots get a tagging game? I think Noah brought that up with me. Um, there's a lot of tags in the game and obviously having the right ones override the right things. If there's too many tags, it looks very messy, so I'm not sure. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I'm not sure whether or not they'll put that in because obviously there's a lot of pilots now. And that will stack with other tags. So if they're in a AMCS, for example, a division, and then also AA, they'll just have like an absolute metric ton of uh, tags in front of them. Uh, will there ever be? Oh, we already that. Uh, do rocket launcher? Um, no. <laughs> what will the AED entrance be? Um, entrance. There's not really an entrance. There's um, in the processing corridor. Uh, next to processing, if you go through there to where you get to the warehouse district area, there's actually a new room that's being designed in there, and that's where mainly AOD AOD will operate. That and a few corridors that haven't been implemented yet, because if you also look to the, the left in one of the intersection rooms, there's also an expansion slot there. Um, they'll probably have like an elevator going down two floors. They'll have like a two-floor space. Uh, the main open space where the vault area is that they're going to have will be used to store, like, um, various weapons that they can craft, um, maybe for, like, the artillery division, etc., etc. Um, they'll be stored in the vault, and then, obviously, the open area with the walkway going across it is going to be used as the factory for where they craft their stuff. The other rooms aren't uh, done yet, but that part mainly is. Uh, when factions, that's a coded question, um, it's 
pretty much complete. He's just had major burnout recently. So, like... He's basically having to force himself to finish it at this point because a project's only done quickly when it's fun. Um, and obviously he's been working on it for so long. And the, the last part, like the last run and the last leg of the Factions update is basically just like all of the boring shit that he doesn't want to do. So um, maybe January, um, late December, I would assume. Um, will mercenary captains get a tag in game? AMCS tag already exists for mercenaries. Why not give it to merc captains? Like I've said, there's already enough tags in the game, especially ones that stack with Aegis personnel. Um, when economic reset, um, once all of the resource update, etc., factions, etc., all that stuff's done. Obviously, there's no point in resetting the economy now because there isn't all of these features in place to make money and there's no features for Aegis to actually make any currency reliably either so the whole economy wouldn't exactly function very well without the infinite economy if that makes sense so once all those updates are out then yeah the economy will be reset anything new planned for SC? Um, not really anything planned no and when will QA testers test? Um, they can test whenever they want. The whole purpose of them is to just hop in the game and find bugs. Um, if self-defense team kill is not allowed, then why is it in frequently asked questions? Is it... Wait, what is it? Where does it say that? Yeah, well... Um, all I'm going to say is, if you do um, team kill in self-defense, you best be recording. Because if you don't catch the point where somebody is actually shooting at you, then you could potentially be warned. That's why I'm saying, like, it's best not to do that. Um, but obviously, if you've already caught them trying to kill you on camera, and then you also record the point where you're shooting back in self-defense then sure you probably wouldn't get warned but i'm saying if you don't have all of the evidence there then there's a high potentiality that you will be warned so just be very careful and only use it as a last resort um will pksf get new guns um probably not no uh, sdhd updates when um whenever a good enough idea arises opinions on the site control <laughs> it's site control it, it, they control the site good division thumbs up can you get suits that make you fly? Technically, yes, but um, also no. Can you get more in more in depth about how the oars work now? Um, it's not enabled yet, but I've basically done all the back end for it. Uh, all I have to do is switch it on at some point. But I won't switch it on until I finish the sellers, because the sellers currently only work with the precious oars mechanic, where you have you know the value of how many oars you have. But basically, um, every ore that you mine will be a tool. You'll get a certain amount of tools per ore, which is obviously based on random maths. But um, once you get the different materials and stuff, you'll be able to take them to either sell them and you'll be given tokens which can which will replace the precious ore system. Those tokens you'll be able to buy, like the D3C with, etc. Um, aside from that, obviously, the ore being physical tools now means that you can carry... Uh, practically unlimited amount of ore and they all have very specific attributes so like diamond gold um, uh, uranium all that stuff will all have individual tools now for instance if you were to craft to do it might require like 10 uranium three diamond blah 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 you know how crafting systems work the boring um, I won't get in too much detail with that but uh, basically you'll be able to craft stuff with the materials um, and you'll get them from mining stuff uh, why are the divisions so hard to get in? This seems like an actual job rather than a fun game. I mean, this is a very realistic military group. It's not exactly a run-of-the-mill um, military group on Roblox where usually you can either buy ranks or you'll just fly through the ranks based on XP just by playing the game. This group is very different in the fact that everything is application-based. It all does function kind of like a real company if you think about it. So yes, the divisions are very hard to get into, but if you're persistent enough, you will get into one. Is the city being worked on right now, or are there any progress? Um, it's not being worked on right now, but there has been progress since uh, last time I was in the conference. Um, there was a new, um, what was it? 
I think it's like an engineering quarter. It's not for AED. It's like, you know, like when they have factories and stuff. Can't remember off the top of my head, but that's basically what was last worked on. Um, new divisions when? Um, a, um, AED and artillery division. ADD, I think. Um, sometime soon. Uh, not too long into the future. A few months, maybe a few weeks. Who knows? Uh, will AAA applications ever be th a thing, like an academy after it? Potentially, I mean, all of our systems are developed over time, so potentially in the future, the AAA department could get more in-depth, similar to how originally in the border, uh, initiate junior operative and cadet and etc. was just ranks that you would basically pass through with duty states until we had the Aegis Academy system. So there is room for stuff like that in the future, yeah. Um, when are the capture points of TCU, Poliac, Scrapyard, and TRO going to be useful? Um, whenever I can find or think of a use for them, really. At the moment, I haven't really thought about it. Um, do you have any competition with other groups? Um, not really, because most other groups are inferior. But um, if you mean in terms of competitive competition... In, in terms of like group warfare, we don't really do that kind of thing. We're not really an RCL group. So no, not really. Is there an estimated release to ED? Not really. I said like a few months, a few weeks. Um, definitely sometime in 2023. Is there an estimated... I've read that. Any weapons buff slash debuff? Um, none that are planned. Will ARD or ED have control over the reactor or is this unknown as of now? You'll both have shared, I've already said this in a previous conference, you'll have shared access over the reactor because obviously there'll be some things AED needs to do and some things ARD needs to do. Obviously there won't be an exclusive owner or whatever of the reactor, but yes, you will have shared ownership in which both of you do have tasks related to the reactor. Have you ever done a suggester after suggest have you ever done a suggestion after saying never say never? Yes. I have a few times. When will mercenaries get buffed? Um they don't really need buffing. They they work similar to raiders. If you want to get additional tools and weapons you can. If not, then you don't have to. Will there ever be more cover for the roof? Um, maybe. Um, I, I did add it quite recently, more, um, cover to the roof. So, I might be adding more in the future, I can't say for sure. Um, will BOD coming back, um, where's, where have I, I've just gotten lost. Will BOD coming back be maybe some Tommel who have stayed for a very long time? Will BOD coming back for maybe some Tommel have stayed a very... Are you trying to say, like, will some Tommel be promoted to the Inspectorate? Because, like, yes, potentially, if um they've been in the group a very long time and retire, they can uh, potentially be invited to Inspectorate, yes. Um... I'm assuming that's what you meant by that. Chairman, do you support trans rights? Um, obviously, all people are people. Um, so I don't see why I wouldn't. Um, with factions, crafting, and a new division, the scope of updates seems huge at the minute. Is there a timeline for the order of when these updates will be focused on? Not a timeline, no. But um, I do see what you mean. There is quite a lot of shit that we need to get through. Um, so I'm not going to try and say that it's going to be done fast because it's really not um it could be months or it could be years but there will definitely be updates being finished and put out like the factions update and stuff like that those will be coming out throughout the next uh year but obviously it's not just going to come as one massive bulk package um otherwise it would take years and you would have no content for years but it'll just be released in segments, but we don't really have any release time windows. This is an indie game. We don't have schedules or anything like that. Um, when QA apps, um, you can join the QA server and ask to um, be invited. If I'm pretty sure it has an application process already, actually. Um, but you just join the QA uh, server. Will the wasteland get covered in snow? 
the thing is when you cover the wasteland in snow it looks uh really abysmal i'm not gonna lie <laughs> um i've already tried doing that before and it, it doesn't look very good um especially considering all the tree meshes and stuff would also have to be changed in order to make it at least somewhat applicable um like sand coming down the walls and stuff i mean not sand uh, snow coming down the walls and stuff frost etc it it from a cosmetic standpoint it wouldn't look very appealing um so probably not how do we know for a fact ddosing is responsible for what is going on with dod i haven't seen any other games struggling quite as much as dod has been that's because dod right as good as it is it attracts like people that have high levels of dedication as you've seen from the members of the group and when these members get banned they usually get banned for very correct circumstances but they feel in their own way that it was not um, a reasonable thing for them to happen to them and they take out their revenge in the form of attempting to um, trash the game or trash the group or you know admin abuse stuff like that or in this in this circumstance ddosing unfortunately it has no effect on like the game's performance as a whole because all of the metrics and stuff still remain the same the only people it actually pisses off at the end of the day is you guys which is kind of a shame because really what they're trying to do is kill the game off but i've said this time and time again there is no way for them to do that i've got more than enough funding to run the game with zero profit for like the next five years so they're not really going to accomplish anything by ddos in the game but um we know it's definitely that because we've uh, looked into the server profiling stuff uh the racknet um that basically is a back-end uh, port for roblox's server infrastructure they use an older version of racknet which has a bunch of vulnerabilities in it which realistically roblox should replace i'm not sure why they haven't but that's mainly why uh, the servers are so easily attacked is because of the they use a third party application called Racknet, um, and they should probably make their own version. But who am I to run a billion dollar company? Uh, when will economy reset arrive? You said a few months ago in a reply that it'll come in a few weeks, but it's still not there, still not here. Um, yeah, because there's not an, we realized that the scope of that was ridiculous and there's a lot more content that needs to be added before we think about an economy reset. Because obviously if we reset the economy and there's not enough ways to make money, people will get bored or people will not have enough money to um, actually play the game, like free-to-play players, for example. So it's better to just keep it so that infinite money's there, so that it's a lot easier for um, new players, etc., to actually play the game fundamentally since there's not enough content. Uh, when will SE get new guns? Uh, maybe in the future. Uh, there will be an update for the in-game tab list to mark if a divisional is f from a sub-division or not. No, there will never be subdivision support. When will there be a new division? Already said. Is STHD going to get any new guns? Maybe like a USP. Um, a silenced variants of the weapons definitely in a future version of Anchor where it has suppressor support. Uh, any idea of what the AED loadout will be? Um, haven't really thought about it yet, but probably going to have to have new guns made for them since we don't really want to just reuse content. Um, also a new morph as well. Uh, those things haven't been considered yet. It's mainly just the fundamentals of their tasks that have been considered at the moment. Will you still be able to buy scraps when the economy resets? Of course you will. Um, why are the Aegis merch like 1k USD? No, it's not. When capture points will go faster if there are more than one person on the same team capturing it? Um, possibly after the factions update and one of the various phases of that. Because uh, Coded's going to basically integrate factions into the capture point system and make it a whole lot more optimised. Maybe uh, some sort of mathematical algorithm to figure out how many players are on the point and then times that might be added but not in the current version of the capture system as it's a legacy uh, server script. Um, will idle elevator doors ever shut automatically? Um, potentially. The reason that they don't right now is because they don't have key, key card support and I'd have to code in key, uh, key card support for that to work. Um, so in order to get the elevators out as fast as I could, I just completely uh, worked around that without having to put that in. And that's why the doors stay open, so obviously anyone can go in and out. 
Uh, when will the next date for the firework gun be back on sale? First of January, probably. The, it usually comes out at New Year's. Uh, mercenary buff when? You've already asked that. Will patrols get your points in the future? Um, potentially, but definitely not right now. Is there any chance that the new Aegis tokens get deleted and come back to scrap slash credits? It's delusional waiting almost an hour for an Uzi. Um, yeah, it'll come back once, uh, the, well, actually, no, what I said was I'd make a conversion system. So if you find scraps and credits out in the wasteland, you can bring them back to the armory and there'll be like a machine which will convert them into armament tokens. So like 10,000 scraps will be like five armament tokens or something like that. Um, cause obviously armament tokens are kind of like, uh, what's it called? Military uses a similar thing where they're not like physical tokens, but like you get like a, a rec record of like how many weapons you're allowed to take out at any given time. It's like that. Uh, why does does the prison elevator have a button that only appears on one floor? Doesn't make sense. It's to prevent uh, raiders from easily accessing ARD labs, so that they have to go through the ARD uh, elevator instead. Why uh, why is the Uzi not a game pass? I don't know. You know, I just never thought of making it one. Are you looking for any developers? Um, you can apply as a contributor via the Aegis um, development discord. Um, if you get accepted, you're able to contribute to the game. Um, will mercenaries get a form of combatic since lately we've seen them getting killed off from the roof since everyone can impersonate their avatar slash form of uniform. Um, if they impersonate the uniform, they can be warned and striked for that, um, so they shouldn't be doing that. As for combatics, probably not. Uh, will the armament token save when leaving slash changing servers in the future? I've already said that yes, I am probably going to look into doing that once the economy reset happens and you can exchange stuff. Because obviously having them reset all the time is not very ideal. Um, will the armor tokens get deleted and can we use credits ins again instead? Um, credits will be one of the currencies that you earn similar to how armament tokens are earned so you'll technically be able to use your credits to convert them into armament tokens credits will be used for stuff um outside of um the armory so stuff that isn't really weapons like uh tools and items and stuff like that in the city mainly um not disturbed drama but is there evidence past what was displayed displayed in global shout for chadman's ban I asked this because some of the evidence was literally anti-CSA memes that was clearly satire and statements like blah blah blah. How is that even evidence while the rest of the hate club was banned for legitimate racism, hundreds of slurs. Here we see no slurs and I many others don't see the equi the equivalence for this decision. Um, that's up to Tom Mull to release the appropriate evidence for that. The inspectorate wasn't um, really involved in the removal of Chadman, um, so they didn't make a document or anything like that. Um, inspectorate documents are released when an inspectorate case is basically done, and obviously there's no punishable action until the document's been released. Um, AA003 basically ended before Chadman's ban, so there wasn't really anything to add to that. So you'd have to go and ask someone from Tom for that evidence and if they want to release it they can if they don't they don't have to um did any action happen with the zillium group i'm not familiar with that i don't know what the zillium group is um changed the uh their name it was aurora oh aurora corporation yeah. um i can't remember did i file anything again i can't think i didn't i don't think that i did actually because I'm pretty sure they took the game down. Because the, the owner transferred ownership to another person. And that person joined the Aegis Discord. And then was basically like, I am the new owner of Aurora. Um, I noticed that the whole game is basically stolen. Um, I'm going to remove all the content. And then would you be happy with it being a border game? Like, obviously, the border doesn't own the rights to being the only border game on Roblox. If someone makes a border game, that's fine. But if someone basically one-to-one -one rips our content we're obviously not going to be very happy about it um and we'll deal with it with the appropriate force but i don't think i actually had to because i'm pretty sure it was taken down um but if i do see it up again obviously i will have to uh deal with it because it is basically just a border ripoff essentially the map is 
one-to-one -one copied. It's just replaced with similar looking assets. In some circumstances, I'm pretty sure they've actually just used stolen board assets, but I can't be sure until I actually look at it more thoroughly. Um, thank you for attending our whatever trillionth conference this was. Um, you can go back to the border, attend any other conferences, divisional conferences, or just do a nice little patrol, you know, whilst the servers are still working. Um, bye.